We do have a full slate of action tomorrow, headlined by the return of Luke Rockhold as he takes on David Branch. For more on the New Yorker's thoughts leading up to his first UFC main event, here's Heidi Andral with David Branch. Thank you very much, Karen. Well, David, uh, I just spoke with Luke. I know that you guys had some words there on the stage. Your interpretation of what was said. Uh, it's just like, uh, you know, fighters, you know, we, sometimes we get into it like that, you know, it's the nature of the beast. You know, he, he feels a certain way, I feel a certain way, and tomorrow we're going to try to impose our wills on each other. You know, I came here to do one thing, I've got one job to do, and it's going to get done. I will not be denied. You've said that historically you've been maybe a little more cautious uh, in, in fights. You've been quoted as saying, I'm going to go out there and be a fool in this fight. What did you mean by that? <laughs> not, not do foolish things, of course. But, you know, I'm going to let it go a lot more than I, I normally, you know, you, you normally do because it's worth it. You know what I mean? And, like, uh, I'm a calculated fighter. I'm a businessman. And, you know, this is the time for me to start shining and really letting my tools out there. We, took, we spoke earlier and you said you really want to impose your striking. I spoke to, to Luke's coach, Henry Hooft, and he said it'll be interesting to see you as a boxer deal with a guy like Luke who is a kickboxer. Mm -hmm. Thoughts on, on your game plan? I mix it up. I do everything. I'm going to impose the whole uh, realm of mixed martial arts on Luke. Uh, when I probe him and I start to see things that are effective, those are the things that I'm going to impose more. That's how I fight everybody, and I'm not going to stop fighting that way. Thank you so much, David. Thank you All right, very much. Karen, back to you.